Ishtabal, my son. Stand before the gods and swear. From this day until your last. That you will always be an enemy of Rome. So there we are guys, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my channel. As you can see, this is Hannibal at the gates and we are playing as the Arivaki tribe. So we have our first issue here. Completely control one province either by direct ownership or through military allies. And the reward is 4,500. So let's have a quick little survey of the map just to get used to everything. So this is where we are, this is our tribe, the Arivaki. I'm not 100% sure whether it is Arivaki or Arivachi, so let me know in the comment section if I think it might be Arivaki. So I'm going to go with that for now. So we have this, Keltibi Keltibira. We have one part of it, need three altogether. Of course we have Carthage and Rome against each other. We have the Lusitani over to our west. And we have Syracuse in the Mediterranean as well. So we have Numantia. What about our enemies? We are at war with the Carpitani, which are down here. So naturally we're going to go for them first by the looks of things. We are trading with... Well, we're not trading with anybody. The Vakei. Same blood as us. We can trade. They like us. We'll go with the trade to begin with. It's high. I wonder if we can get some money out of them. Let's see if we can get 500. Moderate chance. But hey, there we go, bit of money. Straight away. And we have a trade partner. And that should help us out tremendously at the start of this campaign. Can also trade with these guys here. I'm looking at where I can expand. I'll probably go south, probably try and go for these lands in the south. As I go to down towards the Carpitani and the Oritani. So we'll trade with these. If we can. Uh, it's low, okay, it's no point, they're not going to trade with us. So that's our opening moves there. We have a spy, a scout, so we're going to send him over here. And of course, we have some rain, this is the new... Well, it's not really a new feature, but it's a feature in Hannibal at the Gates and Caesar in Gaul. And it's now also being implemented in the Grand Campaign, so I'll definitely check that out afterwards. I have the unit cards on, this is a unit card mod that I have on. Looks a lot better than the regular unit cards. 
I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, got some money, which is good. The Spears of Cetius. Belenos is our general. We have Scutari. What are they like? The Scutari. Look like they're swordsmen. Okay, we have Iberian swordsmen, Iberian spearmen, and Iberian slingers. Technology wise, we want to get. Oh, we got supply and foraging, and we've already got Celtic field systems. Advanced saddle, we could get some stables, that might be handy. Missionary upkeep, headhunt. We'll go with cavalry tactics to begin with. And we're going to build up some of the stuff here to, as well. This gives us a ballista, which will be important, I think, early in this campaign. So we'll go with that. How much does the farm cost? It costs 1,372. We lose public order per turn, which I won't be happy about. So I might hold off on that for now. Although we don't have any food. How much food does this give us? It gives us eight, so that's going to be important. Okay, we'll go for it for now. We're not too worried about our relations and such. What mercenaries are available to us? Mercenary Iberian Slingers, Scutari, Iberian Cavalry, and Iberian Swordsmen. I'm going to recruit a uh, couple of Slingers. And we will go with a couple of spearmen for this unit here. And I think that's probably it for the first turn. So we'll end turn. Our first end turn sequence in Hannibal at the gates. Uh, let's see what happens. Right, so quartermasters report. They've all been recruited. Still recruiting a few more. I want to get a decent army to go south. I'm going to need to get recruit a few in this army as well. How many have we got in this army? We've got four the same as them. Not a problem. Let's see, we've got slingers. We need some more spearmen, I think. So we'll get three spearmen to go with the two I already have. We have slingers. And we'll get an Iberian swordsman in there for good measure. We're also going to recruit some slingers and some spearmen. Take a few turns. And we can end turn again. So. The Aravaki, as as well as the the Lusitani tribe and Syracuse, both are one province or one settlement at the beginning of the game. So they provide a different challenge as to Carthage and Rome. And I, I I'm guessing that one of the things you've got to be careful of is your alliances with Carthage and Rome. So you've got to kind of pick a side. That's that's at least what I got from the promotional material that CA released, so we'll see how that goes. Let's see if we can get trade with these guys now. Greetings Are they willing? No uh, trade, nope. Uh, Non-aggression pact. I'll do. I don't want any more warfare to begin with. Just have one enemy to worry about. Recruiting here. Recruiting there as well. Public order will go down in a couple of turns anyway, so we're going to manage that when that happens. My scout is over here. What have they got? They have 12 altogether. They have. Ooh, he looks quite good. Nice little artwork there on Elixo, the general. They have Iberian spearmen and skirmishers and swordsmen, same as us. They have Scutari as well. I'm assuming the Scutari are some sort of elite unit, or. Well, maybe not elite unit, looking at their stats, but. They look a lot better than my spearmen and my swordsmen anyway, so. Yeah. Spearmen will be handy against the cavalry, though. Ready for battle. Money wise, we're doing pretty well actually. Money wise, and we're going to get we haven't got any skirmishes, have we? A couple of skirmishes will do. Diplomacy wise, don't think there's much more I can do really. Yeah, I'll take all of this first. We'll head south, try and take these uh, lands as well. So, let's look at the map as well. Carthage is over there, goes as far as Tripolitana, got Sicily, Magna Graecia. Looks pretty good. Pretty happy with the map. But we'll end turn. I should probably check my family as well. Well, not so much family. I don't have family trees in this game, but my, um, you know, statistics. Family statistics. See how that goes. Tribal Confederation. Liguria. That's okay. That's a long way from me at the moment. Right, so we have two important characters. Belenos is my general, and we also have Iconicos. Fortunately, I don't have to worry about the rubbish of uh, all this, you know, rubbish. 
gravitas, that's the word I'm looking for, gravitas, don't have to worry about that in this campaign I'm assuming. And we have different armour now, so that's probably going to be a wise idea to highlight all these and give them an upgrade. There we go, lovely jubbly. And we're going to do the same with these as well, so we will highlight them all. Oops, wrong button, apologies there. There we go. So we're just going to slowly build up. I could probably use my scout now on these, I think. Probably give them a bit of a chance to to create an army. I could probably get some mercenaries when I go south, so actually we're going to cancel these last two. We have 12 units. I think we could probably go down this far, and then I think we'll probably go to the river, and then we'll go through the river down to Toritum settlement. Meanwhile, I'm going to try to Let's see, 50% positive outcome, minor damage upon all units. We'll go for that. Poison provisions. And failure. Damn it. That is a shame indeed. Okay. Still recruiting here. This is going to be my backup army, this is. We're going to hold the settlement for a little while and then eventually we'll. Ooh, got ballista. Finally, we got ballista, so <laughs> we get a few of them get four of them. This is going to be my main, my backup army with ballistas. It'll be handy to siege the enemy. Just fly through the end turn phases now. Peace negotiated with the Vachai and the Vascones. Boom, boom, boom. Right, let's move this army. We could go down this road actually straight to it, so let's see. Go to the border. Don't want to go over the border yet. Mercenaries available. Cavalry. We need some cavalry, so we'll hire them. Scutari and slingers. We've got slingers. Scutari would be beneficial. Get a couple of them. Looking right many wise. Food wise, we're okay as well. And we're actually not too bad with the public squalor, so that actually worked out pretty well. Let's upgrade these as well. Warfare will be coming shortly, I think. Let's see if we can sabotage them this time. Still 50-50. Maybe I should go with something else to try to level up. So, actually, we'll go for the city instead. Perhaps we can sabotage the garrison. 75% chance here, so we'll go for that instead. Makes more sense. There we go. Will he level up? They do sometimes level up. And there we are. It leveled up. Traits. Poison Wells has gone up to plus 5. And we can give him cunning. Authority. I'd like to have authority because of the critical success in all actions. And there we are, we've, we've actually weakened some of their garrison units. Which is going to help us out tremendously. We're going to wait on the border now for another turn. And then we can crack on and try to have our first battle in this campaign. So I do hope you're all enjoying this campaign so far. Ooh, what's this? Oh, they want peace all of a sudden. I don't think so. So how about... No. Bought my first settlement. Hope you're enjoying this campaign so far. If you have any tips or tricks or anything, let me know in the comments below. This is my very first playthrough of Hannibal at the Gates. Let's go about there. I'm going that far because of the movement range. And we are at war with them, so it would be wise perhaps to put this into a fortified... Hang on, that doesn't make sense. We should be able to... Well, this is weird, because usually you can put them into a fortified stand when you're on the halfway mark. Damn it. For some reason, now I can't do it. Shit. Okay. Didn't expect that. Right, we'll see if we can sabotage them this time. Still 50-50. They have a second enemy back here, though. 38 is even less. Go for the city again. 75% chance. Should work out. There we go. Just keep weakening the units for now. Oh, another increase. I mean, this is easy increase in our ranks as well. Ooh, let's see. Authority. Collaboration. Evading enemy agents. Campaign map movement. We'll go with evading enemy agents because there is an agent nearby. Although they're not an enemy agent at the moment. I suspect that could soon change, though. Uh, don't re not really need to bother about this screen. I could actually have a couple more armies, which, looking at the money, we are getting a fair bit now. Oh, and actually, yeah, I think we will do that. We will 
recruit a secondary army. Numantica is quite a big settlement as well. I just noticed this as well. So I could probably take this army out to see what they like us if we uh, cancel that ballista, move them out. Minus four. Ooh. Ah no, you know we, we can risk it. I'm happy to bring these guys out as well to help us out. They have ballista at the end of the day, and that could prove prove decisive. No point being too defensive early on. My only fear is losing the Mantia, but we do have 11 units garrisoned, and it is a wall city as well, so we should have the advantage there. So we'll end turn again. Just double checking everything. Food wise, we're okay. Army wise, we're okay. We have blisters already in this campaign. I didn't think I'd get them this quickly, and it looks like they're going to attack us. Okay, so what we got? We have 2,200 2, against. 2720. What have they got? They have lots of Iberian swordsmen, lots of Iberian spearmen and skirmishers. The general, the, the general has only two units himself. Now I could fight this. If I lose this, I have a second army on the way. So I'm going to give them battle and fight them on the battlefield. It makes sense to have a battle in the first part of this series even though it could be one which could prove costly. So the Spears of Cessius versus the Blazing Fury of Neto or Nito. We'll have a little look at the units now on the map as well when we get there. I'm thinking that my spearmen could be the difference if I can take out their cavalry. My skirmishers, I think I have more skirmishers than them. They do outnumber me though. Let's have a little look at the units anyway. So. Let's have a little look here. They're purple. Or pink, even. My god. Mercenary Iberian Cavalry are pink. <laughs> I don't know if they're supposed to be. Ah, my mercenary Scutari are pink. Actually, I think they're all pink. What's going on? I think it's been a bug somewhere. They're all pink. <laughs> I have a pink army. Okay. Don't make sense. Does not make sense at all. My general's all pink as well. Hello. Hello, my pink army. Anyway, enough messing about this. Nice hill by there. Right, we will get my cavalry on the right flank here. Let's see, slingers, slingers. We'll put them, I think, up here for now. Might be wise. Group them up. Oops, wrong button. Been playing Medieval 2 recently, so I'm used the hotkeys again for that game so I'm getting a bit confused at the moment between the two they, there are some differences like grouping units is it's just G on medieval 2 but on this game is control G get these all grouped up as well and we'll stick them in a secondary line behind I think like so I think that's pretty much it yeah we'll start the battle anyway all of my units are hidden where are they there they are Excellent. They've attacked me. They gotta come to me. We're gonna have a nice defensive battle, I think. What abilities do we have? So we can have shield screen and cavalry counter tactics. I think that cavalry counter tactics is right up my street, so we'll go for that. That's what we're going to need in this battle. A lot of cavalry counter tactics. We have my slingers, of course. We're gonna right-click the quick reload. We're going to actually turn them around face the enemy. Let's get my Iberian cavalry on the right flank and my general in between the two. My general could be a bit exposed by there so I'm going to have to be a bit careful. And what we got? We have their general now. Are they pink as well? Are <laughs> they pink as well? Oh my god. Okay, there's been a bug somewhere so if anybody's watching this, notify CA. <laughs> oh man, right. My pink army. Pink army. I want to drive them into this little hole over here and then, then just... Let's see, we got Frenzy. These have all got Frenzy. My general actually has Headhunt as well. Nice little ability for him there. Salinger! So we're going to bring the... Uh, go for these. We'll go for the Iberian Cavalry. They're flanking me. At least they were flanking me. They're probably hidden around that mountain somewhere for now. I'm not bothered about that at the moment. Gonna start bringing things forward. I want to try to draw them into this. It's gonna fall back a little bit. I want to draw them into my spearmen. There we go. We're getting some shots away. 
on the Iberian cavalry. And we're gonna frenzy and headhunt. And now we're gonna charge the cavalry as well. Uh oh, there's trouble. Their cavalry's coming at me as well. Get out of there, you fools. Get out of there. For Gondor, get out of there. Come on. How are we doing? Their general is getting de decimated. Not actually their general. I thought that was. Oh, the general's over there, that's right. We're losing lots of men here. Can we disengage with a unit? I think we can. Go for their cavalry there. My general can hold up the Iberian cavalry there as well. Looks like I'm. Oh, it's okay. We haven't lost all of our, our slingers. So we're going to reform them in that case. Well, where's the enemy going? The enemy seems to be walking over there. Not too bothered about that at the moment. We're winning the small skirmish anyway. And that's important. Let's try and get the cavalry. Take out their cavalry. That was my aim. Oh, and they're going to charge into my spearmen. <laughs> okay, that's that's a death for them, certainly. They've charged into my spearmen. They're going to get completely wiped out easily. So, my general can turn around now. They're not going to cause us any problems. All of my slingers, as a matter of fact, can turn. I'm going to have to turn the whole army, I think. So, let's, let's quickly do this. Quickly get some kind of order because they're trying to turn me over. I'm not going to let them though. Fire and blood, blood of my blood. Come on, let's get the Game of Thrones references going, guys. Let, let's take out the skirmishers there. Where's my cavalry gone? Let's see, cavalry chased them off somewhere, I think. Yeah, they're over here. Don't need them. Come on, this way. Don't lose my cavalry. I'm gonna charge my. Shit. Didn't mean to do that. You know what? It doesn't matter. Second line needs to come out now as well. I'm actually going to send the second line in. And we're going to stick Frenzy on as well. Here we go, my general. These are swordsmen, so I can go with the cavalry strike against them. Hammer and anvil, I think, is what is in order crash straight into them, disengage, don't want to prolong them in a fight. It's getting a bit messy in there now. We're doing okay, we're routing most of them, we, looks like we're going to lose our first unit of Iberian spearmen. Not a problem at the moment. I need to get my spearmen involved in this battle, I think. Let's get them all forward. They've got lots of slingers left as well, so let me see. Don't forget we are outnumbered, it's going to be a bit difficult being outnumbered. But where there's a will, there is a way. How are we doing? Doing okay up here. We're gonna try to overpower them on the left flank. Oh, how my noble fighters. What my generals are not an arch there. <laughs> Belenos. He was my general. Thought he was a skirmisher troop for a second then. I think he might have been. Maybe I was looking at the wrong unit. Don't know, it's a bit confusing. A bit confusing. Oh, my cavalry, right, they caught up my cavalry, that's not good. Disengage! Disengage, you fools. We're draw them out of the battle anyway, that's okay. Tire the poor sods out. Look at all these men in the centre, just so we can take out. I'm not too worried if I lose this battle because I got my second army on the way. If we can just take out as many units as we can. And not let them replenish on the on the battle map, on the campaign map. Then surely we'll be okay. My general's doing a very good job as well, taking out the spearman all by himself at the moment. By the looks of things. He's certainly doing well on the swordsman as well. Ooh. Right now it's time to bring the cavalry back, get these to turn as well, and hit the Iberian swordsman. These spearmen, I don't know what they're doing. They need to get in there though. Salingas. Let's try and draw them out. Let's take out this Iberian spearman unit. Completely rain down death upon them. Oh, it looks like these men have broken up here. So, Iberian spearmen and swordsmen are crap units by the looks of things. Don't forget, this is my very first time playing as the Arivaki. So I am kind of getting used to these units. 
and to be honest, they're quite shit. Sullingers! Difficulty is on very hard as well, so it is proven to be a little bit of a challenge. Right, let's go on, these are slingers, we can take these out. Take the slingers out. My men are rubbish. Come on, charge. My center's completely crumbling. Definitely, definitely could do with some blisters. We're going to need the blisters, I think. Saligas. They're both throughout in. It's not good. Nice long battle, mind. Most battles not usually this long. Yeah, we've lost this one definitely though. Most of my men are out in now. Uh, this is not good at all. Probably too defensive at the start. I was hoping to draw them into that little... What's it gone? That little ridge. And get their cavalry into my spear. I mean, it did work with one unit, but the rest were wise enough to stay back. Mind you, we both lost more or less the same. So, neither way you look at it, it was a, an even slug. It's just that they had more men and that proved decisive. But the Carpetani have defeated me in my first battle, and we are retreating. I can't retreat this time, unfortunately. Oh, bugger, bugger, bugger. Right, we'll attack them quickly. It's going to be a long part, I think this is. Longer than my usual videos. Don't have much left, though. Very few spearmen. Got one unit of cavalry, which is only half replenished. I've only got one full unit and that's my skirmishers, but I'm hoping to take out one or two full units if possible to help me out, to help my other unit out, my other army I should say. Uh, start battle straight away. Uh, how are we going to do this? Okay, skirmishers come forward to, to there. Stick the cavalry far wide. Stick these behind like so. Can't believe they're all pink. <laughs> oh my god, it is ugly as fuck. Jesus. Jesus, look at this. CA, sort your shit out, please. Didn't I think this happened with the the other DLC? Uh, Caesar in Gaul. I think that had a some weird glitch where the units would would do this. Let's see, they got they got plenty of skirmishers at the front. I'm gonna be a bit risky here. Send the gen the cavalry in and see if we can draw a couple of units away. There we go, they're gonna go with me with the Iberian cavalry. Iberian cavalry! Oh they're going with the Iberian cavalry at the front. Look at them, they're drawing away. They they're actually thinking a little bit for once. Sending cavalry up the flanks. It's quite smart, I'm surprised. It's just pity they're all pink. This is this is good. This is good play. This is good play. I'm I'm impressed. I am quite impressed with this. Proven tougher than very hard on the grand campaign in the last few patches, put it that way. Salingers! Attack! Ah, send them all in for God's sake. <laughs> They're flanking me and they're doing pretty well. I'm sure I saw in one of the patch notes though for patch 10 I think it was that they will be more susceptible to using flanks if possible like they they try they turned my whole army in the last battle although a lot of that was probably down to my own fault but now they're actually looks like they're actually thinking about it a bit more well they can't think about it because it's a, an AI but you know what I mean they are actually using the battlefield to its advantage Spearmen. Get in there. Get in there. Charge. I'll never win this battle. I've got too many, too few men remaining. But if possible, I want to take out some units. Orders. Are you three can charge these guys? I'm going to go to build these with these spearmen though, so. I'm going to have to do it like so. It's going to be a short battle. This is. Going to be very short. Where's the timer gone? Usually there's a timer by here. Looks like that's disappeared from this mod as well. This 
patch or DLC got there in the end. Looks like the timer has disappeared. Oh man. Salingas! Come on. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward this guys because it's gonna be a bit boring to watch. But basically, my army's decimated. It lost before the start of this battle anyway. So I'm not gonna put you through a big slug out. I'm just gonna fast forward it. There we go. Lost the battle. Close defeat. Did we kill 352? They kill slightly more. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter. What matters is that we we've got a second army nearby which we can use now in the next in the next battle. Close defeat. Oh, oh, still got an army. My God, they didn't go over the border to attack me. I didn't expect them to. Oh, we need a new unit. So what have we got? We got Seller Seller. Oh God, I can't pronounce that. Cassie. Natos. I'm going to go with him because I can pronounce it. We'll go with Noble Fighters. Noble Fighters. And we can probably... I'm going to recruit this side of the border. For now. This army is going to, of course, go... I'm only going to go this far because of that thing played up last time. And we're going to put them into a fortified stance. So they're going to hold there. These are going to recruit some more units. Need to get some different units because these are shit. To be fair, I can actually get some more mercenary slingers. Yeah, we'll go wild, get loads of them. But there we go guys, so this is the first episode of Hannibal at the Gates with the Aravaki. I've been Dragonheart, hope you've all enjoyed. Until next time, goodbye.